Hello my dear students, this is Prerana, welcome back to Knowledge of Maths. In today's video, we are going to solve exercise 2.1 from the textbook of CBSE Board NCRT Mathematics of Grade 6. So, let's start. Here, this is the first question given in the exercise 2.1. Write the next three natural numbers after 10,999. As we all know, to find the next numbers, we have to add 1 in the given number. Okay? So, let's add 1 in 10,999. We got the answer as 11,000. Okay? Now, uh, to find the next number of 11,000, we will add again 1. We got the answer as 11,001. And the next number we will get as 11,002. Therefore, the next three natural numbers after 10,999 are 11,000, 11,001, 11,002. Okay. Now, here this is the second question given in the exercise 2.1. Write the three whole numbers occurring just before 10,001. Okay. As we added 1 to find the next number, we have to subtract 1 to find the before number. Okay. So, let's subtract 1 from 10,001. We got the answer as 10,000. To find the before number of 10,000, we will again subtract 1 from 10,000. We got the answer as 9,999. And again, if we subtract 1, we got the answer as 9,998. Therefore, the three whole numbers occurring just before 10,001 are 10,000, 9,999 and 9,998. Okay. Now, let's move to the third question. Here, this is the third question. Which is the smallest whole number? As we all know, the whole number starts from 0. Therefore, the smallest whole number is 0. Okay. Now, let's see what is the fourth question. Here, this is the fourth question. How many whole numbers are there between 32 and 53? The numbers between 32 and 53 are 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51 and 52. Okay, these are the numbers present in between 32 and 53. Now, let's count these numbers. How many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Therefore, there are 20 whole numbers between 32 and 53. Okay. Now, let's move to the fifth question. This is the fifth question. Write the successor of. In my last video, I have explained detail about the successor and predecessor. Actually, these two terms are very easy, but many students get confused to find the successor and predecessor. Therefore, I have explained in detail in the last video and I have given the definition. I have told how to find the successor and um, predecessor. You can go through that video. The link is there in the description. Okay. Now, let's find to find successor we will add 1 in the given number therefore the number 24,40,701 plus 1 gives us the answer as 24,40,702 therefore the successor of 24,40,701 is 24,40,702 the next number is 1,199 let's add 1 we got the answer as 1,200 Therefore, the successor of 1,199 is 1,200. The next number is 10,99,999. We will add 1. We got the answer as 11 lakh. Therefore, the successor of 10,99,999 is 11 lakh. The next number is 23,45,670. When we add 1, we got the answer as 23,45,674. 71. Therefore, the successor of 23,45,670 is 23,45,671. 
okay now let's move to the next question that is sixth question the sixth question is write the pre predecessor of predecessor means the before number to find before number we have to subtract one from the given number okay so the 94 minus 1 gives us the answer as 93 therefore the predecessor of 94 is 93 the next number is 10,000 let's, subs uh, let's subtract 1 we got the answer as 9,999 therefore the predecessor of 10,000 is 9,999 the next number is 2,8,019. Let's subtract 1. We got the answer as 2,8,089. Therefore, the predecessor of 2,8,090 is 2,8,089. And the next number is 76,54,321. When we subtract 1, we got the answer as 76,54,320. Therefore, the predecessor of 76,54,321 is 76,54,320. Now, let's move to the 7th question. This is the 7th question. In each of the following pairs of numbers, state which whole number is on the left of the other number on the number line. Also write them with the uh, appropriate sign between them. Okay. Now here they have given the pair of the numbers and we have to find which one is the smaller and greater. And according to the number line, we have to find out which number comes left. So before solving the answer, just understand according to the number line as we move towards right the num the value of the number increases uh, because, uh, because of this reason the number which is smaller than the other number that lies of uh, left of the number okay so uh, to answer the question we have to find first which one is the smallest number and which one is the greatest number and according to that we have to write the answer okay so let's start the first number is 530 and 503 and in my previous video i think it was in the first chapter i have explained how to find greater number and smaller number i have given the rules for that also just go through it it will become easier for you okay so here the number of digits are same so we will find the highest place the highest place also has the same digits so we will go to the second highest place and this number contains the highest number in his second highest place therefore the 530 number is greater therefore the number 503 is on left of 530 okay the next number is 370 and 307 here also the digits are same so we will uh, look after the highest place the highest place in the digits are same therefore the second highest place uh, but in this number the second highest place has the highest number therefore 370 is greater than 307 therefore the number 307 is on left of 370 okay let's move to the third uh, the third one is 98,765 and 56,789. Here the digits are same but the highest place digit are different. And this number contains the highest number in his highest place. Therefore, this one is greater. Hmm. Therefore, the number 56,789 is on left of 98,765. Now, we will move to the D. That is 98,30,415 and 1 crore 23,1. Now here the digits are different. In this number the digits are 7 and in this number the digits are 8. Always the highest digit number is the greater number. Therefore this number is greater. Therefore the number 98,30,415 is on the left of 1 crore 23,1 okay now we will move to the next question that is eighth one which of the following statements are true t and which are false f okay so let's find out which statement is true and which one is false the first statement is zero is the smallest natural number 
This one is false because the natural number starts from 1 and in the set of natural number there is no 0. Therefore, this statement is false. The second statement is 400 is the predecessor of 399. As we know predecessor means the before number but 400 lies after 399. Therefore, this such statement is also the false. The next statement is 0 is the smallest whole number. Yeah, of course, because whole number starts from 0 itself and the 0 is the smallest whole number. Therefore, this one is true. The next statement is 600 is the successor of 599. Yeah, of course, because the successor means the after number and 600 lies after 599. This one is true. The next one is all natural numbers are whole numbers. Yeah, because all natural numbers which starts from 1 are the set of whole numbers only. Because whole number starts from 0 but after 0 all the numbers are natural numbers only. Therefore, this statement is true. The next one is whole, all whole numbers are natural numbers. This one is false because whole number starts from 0 but natural number starts from 1. As natural numbers does not have 0, therefore whole numbers can be all whole numbers can be the natural numbers. Okay. Therefore, this one is false. The next statement is the predecessor of two digit number is never a single digit number. This one is false because as the number two digit number that is 10 has the predecessor 9 which is single digit number. And they are saying never a single digit number. Therefore, this statement is false. The next one is 1 is the smallest whole number. No, this one is false because whole number starts from 0 and 0 is the smallest whole number. Therefore, this one is false. The next comes the natural number 1 has no predecessor. Yeah, as they are saying the natural number 1 and natural number starts from 1. Therefore, there is no before number for 1 in the set of natural number. Therefore, this one is true. Okay. The next comes the whole number 1 has no predecessor. No, this one is wrong because the whole number starts from 0. Therefore, 1 has predecessor as 0. Therefore, this one is false. The next comes the whole number 13 lies between 11 and 12. As they are saying whole number. There is no whole number present in the number uh, present between 11 and 12. The 13 lies after 12. Therefore, this statement is false. The next sentence is, the whole number 0 has no predecessor. Yeah, there is no predecessor present in the set of whole number before 0. Okay, uh, as the uh, whole number starts from 0 itself. Therefore, this one is true. The next sentence is, the successor of 2 digit number is always a 2 digit number. No, because the 2 digit number 99 has the successor of 3 digit number that is 100. Therefore, this statement is false. Okay, here we end up our exercise 2.1. We will continue our remaining part of the whole number chapter. In the next video, if you like my teaching, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye everyone.